am going to be doing a little bit of a different kind of video. I don't really do crafts as often as I used to or like little DIYs, I guess, or how to's anymore. So if you guys are interested in watching um, what I put in these little goodie bags, stay tuned and I'll tell you how much um, each item was. Thank you guys for watching. All the stuff I got was from Target. You guys don't have to use everything, but here are a few ideas. Candy canes, they're always a good idea. 60 mini ones for $2.69. Then I did get this sticker booklet for only a dollar, which was awesome. Then bubbles, I got this pack of 24 for $3, which was pretty cool in the favor section. Then a pack, four packs of pencils for $4, a dollar a piece and then four packs of erasers for a dollar a piece as well. They were so cute. And then I got these little finger puppets and each bag was $2. And then I also got these little mini springs and each bag was $3. I had ribbon from last year and then these little baggies I just got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, which was awesome. So I started by cutting on um, the pack of stickers. I didn't want to put a whole sheet in the little goodie bags. So um, out of each page, I was cutting like four little squares to give to the kids, which actually worked out perfectly. And that booklet was enough to give me 24 little squares, which was pretty cool. So there I am slaving away, cutting um, that page to pieces. Liam was freaking out. He's like, why are you cutting the stickers, mom? It was pretty funny. So there I am assembling the bag. Again, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy, but I just wanted to give you guys a few ideas as to what to put in these baggies or goodie baggies if you guys are ever in need of making these for your kid's school or a party or something like that. Just put pencil, erasers, just little toys. You guys are welcome to use whatever you guys want. This is just what um, I decided to put in mine and I don't know what I'm doing with that puppet. And then there goes Bubbles with its little wand attached, which I thought was pretty cool. And Liam actually helped me put together all 24 of those baggies. He was handing me all the stuff to put in them. He was super helpful and he really had such a fun time just, uh, just being part of it. It was really, really fun. And he was such a great help. And as I mentioned before guys, to kind of tie the baggies, I just used leftover ribbon that I had from last Christmas that I used to wrap up my presents. So that was really good on my part, but if you guys don't have any leftover ribbon, the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store are good options to look for, um, for ribbon or something for you to tie the baggies with. Or then again, the bags always come with the clear plastic ties. You guys can always use that if you guys are really on a budget. And I just added a bell for fun. So there I am doing finish, finishing touches. All of my bags kind of look different because I did use different uh, ties and ribbon for, for most all of them. I just kind of used what I had. But it ended up working out and I think they looked pretty good at the end. 